Welcome to Cha Cha's Queendom. Today, I am super excited because the spotted prawn is in season. And the dish I am going to show you is my all-time favorite. It's not just my favorite. Actually, all the guests and the family member that I serve it to, they all love it. And when it comes to an ingredient that is so fresh and amazing like the spotted prawn, most of the time, I like to do the minimum seasoning, minimum preparation, minimum cooking. Because you know, you gotta let that superstar, the ingredient shine on its own, right? And even though the sauce that I'm going to make today is super flavorful on its own, but somehow the sauce and the prawn, they go together so well, they complement each other's flavor, and the sauce actually brings out the natural sweetness of the prawn. And that flavor kind of just explode in your mouth. And I understand that some people don't feel comfortable taking care of live seafoods. You can just go to your market and get whatever sashimi grade shrimps and it will totally work. And guess what? This sauce doesn't just work for shrimps. It works for fish, shellfish, like oysters or squid. And not just the sashimi style, even for the steamed seafood or the grilled seafood, they all taste super delicious with this sauce. And for those of you who get squeamish watching people taking care of live seafoods or shrimps with heads on, I left that part of the video in the very end so you can feel comfortable watching the whole video and skip the end. Now before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also turn on that bell notification sign so you get notified whenever I have a new video coming out. Now let's get started. Tomato. First, finely chop some cilantro. The finer you chop it, the prettier the sauce is gonna be. And then we're gonna go on to chop some garlic. And we need about a quarter onions. Also chop it really fine. Once you're done with the onions, we're gonna add in the liquid ingredients, the lime juice, some fish sauce, and then some palm sugar. And if you like spicy, feel free to add in some finely chopped Thai chili pepper or jalapeno. As you can see, the sauce is not a lot right now, but we're gonna let it sit and the cilantro and the onions are gonna release more juice into the sauce and make it even tastier while we're preparing the shrimp. If you want to see how I prepare the shrimp, I put that part of the video at the very end. Now the shrimp is prepared and plated. Let's take a look at the sauce that we made earlier. After sitting there for 10 minutes while we prepare the shrimps, as you can see, we got more sauce out of the cilantro and the onions and the sauce is actually really tasty right now. And because we butterfly the shrimp, so that it can hold more sauce. So what I'm going to do is going to drizzle the sauce on top of the shrimp first and then put all the spice and the herbs on top of it. Now I have to show you how I eat it. Of course, I can use the chopsticks and just pick it up like that and eat it. But there's a risk that from the plate to my mouth, I might just lose some yummy sauce or the delicious spices on top of the shrimp. So what I do is I use a spoon to scoop it up and make sure that I can scoop up more sauce on the plate and put the whole thing into my mouth. Mm. Oh, this is so delicious. Isn't this dish gorgeous? And I guarantee you, it tastes super delicious as well. And the reason that I like to go through taking care of live seafood is because of my background. I'm from Taiwan, and Taiwan is a tiny island surrounded by ocean. So from sea to table or farm to table, a lot of time it can be within hours. So we were so used to tasting this amazing flavor when the ingredients are super fresh. But I do understand a lot of you get uncomfortable or squeamish when it comes to live seafood. So, if you're one of those, this is your cue to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And then, you can leave now. And for the rest of us, it's time to take care of our shrimp. To prepare the shrimps, you need scissors and toothpick to devein. 
And I prepare a bowl of ice and then another empty bowl on top of it. And I'm gonna put my shrimps in the empty bowl and keep it cold while I'm preparing. And I have two sets of it because one set is for the heads and one set is for the body. And I like to use ice pack on top of the shrimp because if I use ice, sometimes when the ice is melting, it gets watery and I don't want that. Now, we're gonna take care of the shrimps. First, I always cut off the pointy parts of the shrimps and I trim off all the legs so that they look prettier and neater. Now everything is trimmed. We're gonna separate the head and the body. You can choose to twist the head off or you can choose to find the gap between the head and the body and then just give it a clean cut for the presentation. And the shrimp heads, they're perfect for seafood broth. So you can make lobster bisque with it or it's actually really good for making miso soup. And then don't forget that at the tail, there is also a pointing part that you want to cut off so you or your guest won't get poked. Now let's peel the shrimp. I have the toothpick and the damped paper cloth for the deveining and a small sharp knife. When you're peeling it, you want to be gentle and careful. You don't want to break the body. You want to keep it all together so it's pretty. And then you see that for shrimps, it's always curling like this. It's because there's a tendon underneath. You want to cut it so that the tendon is broken. Then the shrimp will stay straight on the plate. It will look prettier. And then on top of it, I'm going to cut open the back, but I don't want to cut all the way through. I want to do this because then it's kind of like butterfly. So there is spacing between that you can hold a lot of sauce. And you want to check to see if you need to devein it. This one is pretty clean. Actually, most of the spotted prawn is really clean. Again, remember, don't cut through the back. You just want to open it up so that you got space to hold the yummy sauce. But every few that you will find one that you need to actually devein. Now we're done. This sauce is so easy and super versatile. So if you haven't tried any of my recipe, this is the one that you should give it a try. It works on raw or cooked seafood. And guess what? It's also a good dipping sauce for hot pot style meat slices. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and also turn on that notification bell so you will always get notified when there's new video coming out. I'll see you next time.